Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, playing as a very somewhat well-known nation. And that is, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, the Great Cons. Now, I've never played as them before, but let's go with custom game rules. I, I like doing this a lot. Just everything set to default. I like not knowing what might happen, and historical AI focuses are off. The mods I'm using, of course, are Old World Blues. I'm using the mod compilation... Oh, two for Old World Blues, Color Buttons, Color Events, Player Led Peace Conferences, and of course, like normal, the State Transfer Tool Mod, just to clean things up a little bit and shift things around if we think it is necessary. So, like I said, I've never played the Great Cons in Old World Blues before, but let's see what happens, because I know they have a unique focus tree, and they look very cool. They might get an update later on, but let us begin with a focus. Our story. We tell many stories around a campfire about the cons of old. To know where you are going, you must, of course, know where you are from. A people without a history is a people without a future. The stories we tell is an event we shall grab next. Oh no. I have motorcycles. And ten armor. Oh no. Am I actually going to use motorized finally for the first time on this channel in Old World Blues? Maybe. I don't know. Now, it should be noted that we are only tribal. That's it. That's it. We're just tribal. That's it. No, no more. No further than that. We're gonna go with Omsal though, and then we shall probably mm hmm. Conventional warfare. Asymmetric warfare seems to make sense, but you know what? If I use motorized, maybe I'll actually go down mechanized. That might be a first for me and try to. Uh, we want to get tanks. That that this one over here is kind of useless for us then. Hmm. Well, let's go with conventional warfare then. I guess that would probably be okay for us. And then come over here and we shall do... Construction basic. Let's get some industrial planning first. Some civilian factories. Uh, I guess that's the only one we can put there. Alright, so be it. Now we're going to need some motorcycles. Oh, let's get some pipe guns, motorcycles. We'll get rid of basic melee weaponry. One, two... Uh, what are on our divisions? Let's go do that. Let's do this. And con foot runners. So just basic naked 10... That's it, no support companies, no support companies either. Okay then, so we're not looking great. So we're gonna go grab some of that, even though we will need to get some anti-piercing, anti-tank for New Vegas. Hmm, mm, oh man, should I really use... Oh man, should I really use some motorized vehicles? That's speed, you know what? Let me know in the comments. Should I make this my first campaign where I'm going to be using motorized because this is I've never used them before I, I got nothing against them mostly but let me know in the comments below should I use them should I not I'll make both for now until we actually make a decision so ah uh, Jessup ah uh, Jessup how lovely but let us let time go on we currently have 11,000 and a half population uh, let's see. Oh, our story, though. Once, when the lands were still freshly scourged by nuclear hellfire, four tribes emerged from a large vault. One settled in what is now known as Shady Sands. The others, the jackals, vipers, and the great cons, roamed the land, taking what they needed, going where they wanted, living free under the starlit skies. In our history, the great cons have been struck down repeatedly by their enemies. Every time, however, we've been, we have beaten the odds and risen from the ashes. With our wounds still fresh, we should never forget where we came from. Our spirit is strong, and the cons, and the great cons, of course, will rise again, taking what is rightfully ours, and the dogs that will scour the waste. We will overcome any hardships and dip obstacles in our way, even if it requires a great sacrifice. I like that little icon, that little symbol there. The old cons live on in us. More speed, less supply consumption, and more attack. That looks really good. Or arise a new cog... Konganat. More speed, too. Monthly population defense. Monthly population's okay. It doesn't really help you that much. So let's get more speed. Not the drug, but just actual more speed. Uh, attack and less supply consumption. Thank you in our exile. Our early clashes with the NCR and the Mojave forced us to find new areas to settle. In search of even further from Shady Sands, we discovered the abandoned suburbs of Las Vegas long before it was the jewel of the wasteland and settled down. That is until the evil Mr. House, with the secure trons and boot-looking tribal allies, kicked us out. Oh, that evil Mr. House. How dare he kick us out? How dare he? And led by Papa Khan right now. Of course, we dislike the NCR, but that's okay with us. So, Mr. House and his New Vegas bootlickers reminded us with blood of an important lesson. That if you want something, you must take it by any means necessary. It is a lesson we will not be forgetting anytime soon. Our spirit is strong and nobody can say the great cons do not learn from the past. It is clear that our exodus from New Vegas has taught us an important lesson. To truly prosper, one must be willing to fight for what is yours. We should learn our lesson and never again allow anyone to take what is ours. Regardless, personal sacrifice. No one will belittle the cons again. So shall... 
And so we shall teach anyone who messes with us a lesson. We get recovery rate and attack on core territory. Or, and so we shall defend what is ours and defense on core territory. Now, a lot of the time in this campaign, we're probably not going to be fighting on core territory like any every campaign. Early on, we might. But later on, the recovery rate applies to everything and not just core territory. So I'm going to go with that one because that gives you a bonus no matter where you are in our future. The time has come finally to decide the destiny of the great cons by deciding who will lead our people on to victory in the name of our forefathers. Both candidates have uniquely different views, however. Now we must choose between Papa Khan and or Regis. I believe it was his son, if I remember correctly. And we shall see very, very soon our future. The time has finally come for us to decide the future of our people. The only question remaining is who will, who will lead them on this great journey to retake what right, rightfully belongs the Khanganat. Well, Khanate. I'm just going to call it the Khanate. With the right leadership, the great Khans will surely prosper and bring glory to the name of the forefathers. Papa Khan will always lead us. Or Regis, Regis knows what is right. Well, before we make probably the most important decision here, Papa Khan is on the left. And this is all that we can do on this side. we got some natural opioids. You know, we like a couple drugs here and there, medical tech. Followers of the Apocalypse that have established themselves. Founders of the Chem Trade. It's not bad for us, actually. Uh, drug Run to Fiends. Huh. Trims of Caravan Deals. Now, this middle one stuff we get regardless of who we choose. Great Hunts. Not bad. On the Move. Not bad as well. Once we had Political Power. Multi Population. Construction Speed. Arms Workshops. Resource Efficiency Gain. Civilian Workshops. Civilian Workshops. Arms Workshops. Mass Production. New tactics, remove con war bands, more motorized productions, more speed, less production costs. The war path, less division training time, less justified war goal sounds, and more war support. Update the arsenal. Uh, you can choose slashing melee weaponry or ballistics, war equipment or heavy melee weaponry, the con arena, and the, the logical option. Friend of the Legion, Kaizaz advises, and then we can join the Legion if we have the Bitter Springs Massacre. Ooh. Or we do a facade of neutrality, which is okay. It's not bad. Ideas of the Legion, which we reject automation. Civilian factories, Legion, slave trade, prepare for war with the bear, uh, avenge bitter springs, of course, Legion, industrial ideas, Legion weaponry, and that is the Papa Khan path. This middle path we're not going to talk about since it's going to happen anyways, regardless of who we choose, but this is Regis. He's a imp sneering imperialist. He's got new ideas, his electric technology, industrial aid, medical advancements, field medics, not bad, I like that. Our own innovations, but then you get Electronics bonus, create a stockpile, but you get a bonus to infantry technology, basic equipment, same thing over here, common weaponry or ballistic weaponry, the secret of Vault 22, Settlers of the Waste, uh, yeah, I'm, just show I'm showing you pretty much all that's already here, and then you can become civilized, becoming a settled nation, which looks really fun, so it sounds like what we should do on this channel is play as a cons twice to try out both sides, a new direction, bandage old wounds, Propose a new plan, convince advisors, NCR embassy, a neutral party, restore trade with the NCR, or request amnesty, a formal alliance, NCR funding, adopt NCR tactics, the Red Menace, NCR development support, sharecroppers, and for the Republic. We're going to go with Papa Khan. I just wanted to share with you all what we could choose. So, Papa Khan. He possesses fits of talent and charisma. He is, a, he is true to the original values of our ancestors, and his hatred for the NCR is unparalleled. Clearly, he is the only person who can lead the cons to a brighter future. We get less non-core manpower, but barely. He's a traditionalist. He gets more attack. Plus, minus 30% just by Rogal Stamps and daily ruler support. Plus 0.1. Not bad. So let's talk about the middle path. So here we have Chance, uh, which we get more attack, less defense, the armor. Not bad if we want to use power armor, which we probably won't. Oscar Velasco helps with special forces. Uh, we get Anders as a person, Diana, Jack, and on the other side we have McMurphy, expanding the game, uh, Lu Melissa Lewis, which just isn't bad, Jerry the Punk, which is not great, not bad, Emma Window, oh, you get a research slot, ooh, Papa Khan, thank you, and then we have Dyla, Dahlia, Dahlia, and then Desmond Lane. And next up, now we can choose a Long House Council, which probably would be good to get some political power early on, just to get it over with. Lose stability organization for more attack. Anything here we really want. Point one more political power isn't bad. Drugged up once we had. That's not bad either. Lessons from history. Construction speed plus 5%. 5% for what we have already is, is okay. I want to go to war as fast as possible. The logical option would not be bad. Uh, Savage contact with Kaizal's Legion would be bad. So I want to go with the Longhouse Council. The Longhouse sits at the center of the clan. And all the important decisions are made here. 
By cherry-picking the best advisors from the war bands that make up the cons, we will ensure we can never go wrong. We get stability and war and political power, which is very good. Very, very good. Unbreakable spirit. So what do we have here? Research advisors. Uh, error. Military con for conventional warfare. Other military stuff. Uh, the armor. Of course, we have that. Infantry. That's not bad. Burning Avenger. More defense. Not bad. I like that. And some sort of uh, recovery rate. For military staff. Chance. Versus McMurphy. Oh, God. Oh. I like both. I really do. So we have Con Culture. 25%. I didn't know we would be this injured already at the beginning of the game. Um, oh, you need political power to remove this idea. Okay. And the Con Culture. Just 25. Mm, we have two Con Cultures. We have two Cultures. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, we'll probably go with Welcome to Army. Capitol Hill has fallen. Jerry the Punk. That's okay. That's not really great. That's okay. Uh, that's... Oh my gosh. Emma Winslow. Minus 5% recruitable population. Woo! Woo, boy! That's... That is some serious penalties there. Chem Synthesizer. That's not bad. I like that. Anders. That's okay. Chem Dealer. That's okay as well. Alright. So... Oh, we got a lot of slavery. I love it. Construction Basics. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, are we still doing this? No, we're not. Go ahead and grab some... Eh, we could probably... We're not, we're not worried yet, so let's grab some cap and output first. What do we need? Do we need... Yes, we do. We need guns. So don't, before anyone tells me, as much as I want to get slaves... I love slaves. Uh, gun runners. Buy some stuff. There we go. Begin a scavenging program. You know what? Since we have it, we might as well do it. We only heard our factories buy two. All we have. Hey, more political power. So, we could do new lands, or support political power, and go to war for the Sky Reavers territory. Now... Can we hold on to the Sky Reavers territory immediately? How many divisions do they have? They have five to eight, so they have more than us. I want to go to war early on. I'm thinking we might go to war with the Sorrows, maybe. Or actually, no. This is a. This, these guys aren't that strong. They don't have that many factories, so coring them would not probably be too bad. So we'll probably go to war with Western Grand Canyon because no one ever really cares about them that much. Just saying. Go ahead and spend the political power to do that. Uh, we can do McMurphy, which. Wouldn't be bad, but chance also isn't bad. The armor. Create elite units using veterans from the clan. That's not bad, Anders. I really would like to get down here, but we need the followers of the apocalypse anyways, so we might as well wait. So let's talk about the permanent structures. More construction speed. Research speed. Population and defensive strategy. But I think we wanted to go offensive. Now, this is means of production, so we get more efficiency cap. We get social Darwinism, less training time. Uh, we get able bodies plus five percent more recruitable population is so nice, I and mean, we probably will need that. Hit and run tactics, more speed and reconnaissance. New lands, uh, need a thousand manpower in the field. Enslave the West, which places g get decimated, but we do get a cord eventually. That's nice. Uh, supply the Shady Sands Black Market, not bad either. Enslave the East, which helps on Coyote Springs, Meadow Valleys, Crystal, Crystal Springs. Infiltrate an Area 51 expedition. Cool. Press our advantage for the Grabber territory. Rangers for the, against the Desert Rangers. Crush the White Legs. And access the new Reno drug trade. Rangers Citadel becomes known as Jetton. Recruit the Scum of the Earth. Okay. Create the U tributary states in Utah. Oh, okay. So we do get a puppet war goal against them later on. But that's going to be a long time. I'd rather just core the Grand Canyon right now. A division of Khan Footrunners will be raised. So, how about we just go ahead and push ourselves, get a little bit more political power, and have this open for whenever we need it, maybe? Ah, I'll get this one first. Means of production. The cons have always been on the move, producing what they need wherever they are. We should follow suit with these traditions. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's see. Enslave our enemies? We'll probably go with Slavers of the Waste, because we can, probably. Production policies, anything here that's really super important? Eh, not really. Not really too much. Greasers, stability... I think I'm just going to come down here to do Wasteland Economy and go with Well-Equipped Army. It doesn't help us that much. We only have five factories in total. But it helps us when we get our factories back to produce stuff a little bit faster. So that'll be kind of nice. Wait. Proclaim the Mojave Nation. Ooh, I don't know that. Be beating sense into them. Cool. But I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. And there goes the Yakima Nation, even though Capitol Hill has fallen. Uh, the Washington Brotherhood looks, still looks pretty darn good. Ah, uh, the Legion's already fighting people, as well as the Desert Rangers. Quite a violent group, I would say. Uh, so actually, for us, we are we have some experience. We are seasoned. That's nice. That's good. That's good. Actually, that we're seasoned. A uh, cutting Desert Fox would definitely do that. Here's a question, though. With infantry, motorized are not considered infantry, right? Right? Hmm. 
Let's go and do some new lands just in case. So our numbers grow by the day. But our ter territory does not. We need new resources and new settlements and new slaves. So we basically must take them. Control warrant declare one of the caucus walkers. Very good, very good. Do come all the way over here. That'd be very nice. Mm, and do that. Now we have about 100 more political power. Let's go ahead and grab some more army XP daily gain. That would be very nice because I want to modify these dis divisions. Not decisions, but divisions. Ooh, con culture, man. Ooh, that does not look ideal. Ooh. Minus 20% construction speed. I should have read what I was doing with this stuff. Hmm. More cap. At least we get more population. Division speed. Does, do we have hurt division speed? No, it's just construction speed. So that hurts us quite a bit. I did not realize that at all. Woo! That is not ideal. After that, we'll probably go with what we once had. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, we can do McMurphy. We still need followers of the apocalypse regardless. So tool procurement. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some work as needed. That would be always good to do. And then we're going to grab some woodworking. Sure, why not? That'd be nice. And we're going to get 1.1 political power a day. It's okay. Not much, but whatever. Hey, look. Already got some good army XP. Nice. Ah, the Reclamation Authority. Papa Khan decided to construct this organization devoted to promoting scavenging in the wasteland. This will give our nation expertise in scavenging the waste. Social Darwinism. Population speed. Okay, so we can wait on that. We need a thousand manpower in the field, so we're going to wait. Let's go ahead and get hunch. Da, da, da. Lessons from history. Let's see what we once had. The Khans were once a great tribe, terrorizing all who stood in their ways. They amassed untold riches in old world tech, gold, women, and slaves, the, fa the best things. And they were the undisputed masters of hit and run tactics. We should strive to once again reach such glories. Absolutely. Outside volunteers. Now, I don't remember. Would Papa Khan welcome outside volunteers? We don't like Vegas. We don't like the NCR. Oh, well, we don't like Mr. House at least. We love New Vegas. We don't like the, the uh, Mr. House. Then. We kind of like the Legion though. Would we use outside of battalions? I don't remember if we would or not. There's really not much we can choose here at all, as we unlock other people. If that's the case, we'll just go with the tried and the true Freeman's fixers because ten percent more bonus to construction. Cool. Why not? And the next thing we're going to research. Is probably anti-tank. I mean, there's still so much engineering and land doctrine and industrial planning that we still need to get done. But oh, actually, plus 10 entren max entrenchment was is very nice. Mm, just in case the war against these guys m might occur any day. And you know what? If we have to fight people who have motorized as well, that wouldn't be very much fun. Actually, how strong are you guys? Do you have two divisions here? Do you have any anti-tank? I doubt it. Good. They have two divisions. We should be able to do okay against them since they don't have that much manpower. They have that many factories. Their stockpile is probably bad. This happens every campaign, so I'm not even going to read it. Let them come. They'll only do good. Yeah, I was thinking, though, with, uh, you know, how we scavenge for stuff. And I know maybe this is in the next update. Maybe not for Old World Blues for 3.0. I'm currently, it's currently not Old World Blues 3.0 at the time of this recording. But, what I'm thinking, yeah, the next one we'll do will be anti-tank, because we want to finish our land doctrine as fast as possible. Um, as you scavenge more and more, like your spies... You should your organization, your scouters, your scouts. I mean, couriers. They should add more and more experience and be able to more successfully scavenge for supplies as time goes on. As you push them out, as push, push out or send out manual prospectors. I think that would be a very interesting idea to get, keep up the role play even more. Oh, he's been on like ten scavenging miss missions. Why not have him uh, increase in level? Make him know how to scavenge better or be more resourceful. Lessons from a history, not bad. Construction speed, that's okay. I want to get some more arms workshops. We're going to need more production, prob probably. 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 Uh, supply. More defenses isn't bad, though. Reinforce the patriarchy. Lessons from a history. Throughout our existence, we have won numerous victories and recovered from many defeats. All these battles should influence how we wage war and manage ourselves in peace going forward. 5% more construction speed, which is okay. 10% more monthly population, which is okay. You know, they're not great. They're not great. And, okay, we, so we got to make a decision here. Economic advisor... Uh, that's actually Jack. Actually, all these are pretty good. Well, maybe not you, Anders. Diane, uh, minus five percent. That's okay. Recovery rate, war support. That's still okay. Down here, if we had to get someone first, who would it be? Non-core manpower, war support, followers. The no, not yet. No. Military staff, aggressive ass assault. I don't like losing defense, but twenty percent more attack is always nice. Justify Wargo's times is really nice as well. Planning can actually be very, very useful as well. 
Uh, division speed goes down, but more defense. That's fifteen percent is nothing to laugh at. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see, Oscar Velasco. We might use special forces. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. I think we. Oh, I don't think infantry, leg infantry, like yeah, infantry divisions. That doesn't apply to motorized. I think. Hmm. I don't remember. I remember using motorized. Yeah, we won't be able to get to. APCs or tanks, which really sucks. I don't know who to choose then. Chem dealer recovery rate. Well, I mean, Diana looks probably looks the best to do. There's really not much we can do here. Uh, major businesses, I guess. Infrastructure, outposts, stability. Robots. We're not using robots. Energy weapons demo. <sighs> That's not really worth it either. Ballistics. Okay, lock and load is probably the best one to do then for this group. So I don't want to do this, but go and click on that. Cool. Oh, they have three divisions now. Let's see if we can win. If not, that's okay. You know. It's the beginning of the campaign. We'll see what happens. Tribal unification. Go right ahead if you can. Can they pierce you? No, they can't. And they have no commander either. So that's good. And we're going to... Oh, a lot more army XP by doing this. Motorized, not looking great. Ooh. Hello, Kaiser's Legion. Uh, we're slowly winning just because they can't pierce us, which is awesome, awesome. And they have no general, which is awesome as well. If that's the case, let's go and grab a field marshal so we have a little bit more attack. Papacon! Hello, Papacon! I'm joined here with my cat, Binky, who is currently licking himself, and... Binky! You okay? Sleeping a lot? Let's see, what do we want to give him? Mysterious Stranger, probably... Uh, well, can't really plan as they're fighting. More attack, 3% more attack. This only gives you half the benefits, so it's really 2.5%. So, I guess we'll get more attack. That probably be, would be the best. Okay, do both. We're really focusing on the attack. Very, 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 very much. I suggest so. Oh, okay, that's good. We got that. Ninja. Land Knight Attack. Entrenchment. That's not bad. I'm going to go with more Recon and Land Knight Attack. We'll see what happens, though. We'll definitely see what happens. They have three divisions, which is not ideal. We could always let them in a little bit into our own lands and then crush them that way, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Ruthless Drills. Let's see. Outsider Volunteers. You know what? We might go with Outsider Auxiliaries just to get some more compliance more, much more quickly. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that, just so that when we go to war... Oh, I have division popped out. But when we go to war and we take over the lands, enemies are going to not like us that much. So if we can at least get more ma manpower, that'd be good. So, oh, there goes a cause as well. And the Veil Banditos. If you like to read about that, go right ahead. This happens every campaign, so I don't, I don't ever read it anymore. It's okay. Sky Reavers support the Rabbles. Hmm. Sky Reavers. How dare you. Alright, so we gotta save our political power up and help settlements. More mo monthly population is great, but that's civilian factory. It's only one. It's so nice to get, though. Oh, did we get something done? Research, maybe? No? Well, the lessons from our history. More monthly population and more construction speed. Thank you very, very much. Camp armories. I think that'd be good to do right now. So, our warriors should not be purely dependent on the labor of slaves to create and maintain their weapons, vehicles, and armor. Each warrior should be capable of building and maintaining their own, and each camp should maintain the facilities to do so. Even though I did go this way with outsider auxiliaries, eventually you might, we might just choose no outsiders, even though I'm pretty sure these are traditionalists. He probably doesn't support too many people outside. I'm only go to, going down this path for now. By the end of the campaign, I'm going to go back, probably back to no outsiders, so we'll see what happens. God dang, these guys are fast. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. And woodworking, very good, very good. And I haven't forgotten what I need to do. Organize agriculture, sure. But since we have two done, I have not forgotten. Oh, we already have anti-tank. Oh, okay. I'm already ahead of the game. Let's grab some crowd control gear then. Now, like I said, I did not forget about this. Oh, oh, we oh, can't do it yet. We don't own this territory, I guess. Jessup, now don't fall ill. That's not good. Oh, wow, they're veterans. Are you learning stuff? He's becoming a hills fighter. That's nice. Level three, very, very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. After this, actually, do we want to go to war with anyone else? Maybe. Our army's not that big. We wouldn't probably be able to fight dead horses. We probably won't be able to fight too much of anybody here. And if I attack the Sorrows, that means we might get into an earlier war with the White Legs, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Oh, crap. The Wither Dogs are gone. They Everyone killed them. Whoa. New Vegas would not be bad either. Let's see. Let's come over here. Oh, we're going to get a lot of that. Wow, that is the disgusting Colorado. Actually, that's not too bad. The dying outcasts go straight north. Old World Blues, our scavengers fail to find anything, which sucks. We, at least we got them back, but Iron Alliance expanded just a little bit. That's actually not bad. Good job, guys. That actually looks fairly decent. How many men have we lost, though? That's a good question. 
Mm, that's not bad. 37 versus 300 some. We'll say 50. To keep it nice and balanced on our side, we'll say we've lost 50 guys so far. Oh, get those guys in there. Go, 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 go. And after this war, we're going to buff up our motorized divisions just because... And our infantry too, probably. Beautiful. Thank you for playing, Grand Tribes. Now I don't have to take you out later on. So now that we have them occupied, uh, we can let time go on if we really wanted to. But we're going to go with Wasteland Pacification. That looks pretty good. Do we have enough guns? Yeah, we do. All right, so. Con foot runners. Con riders. Maybe I will use these. We'll see what happens. I want to know your opinion. If we do that, we might use them. We might not use them. Uh... What? Maybe, maybe we'll go to war with these guys anyways, because why not, you know? Why not? This might put us at war with someone else, but I want to be kind of aggressive. And now it's not really worth courting this territory, but it would be worth getting rid of the resistance there. Uh, but, and they have only two scrap, and like, a factory. But, you know what, why not? It's only 62 political power. Camp armory is great. Warrior scholars, more resource efficiency gain, and research speed. Four more civilian factories, slave workshops, oh, I love this, reinforce the patriarchy, iron steeds, that, oh, more speed and more, less production costs, remove con war bands, we get less recon, less attack, more reinforce rate, but better organization, the great war path, that's not bad either, mm, mass production, let's go ahead and do reinforce the patriarchy for more stability, because I love stability, whilst many women prove valiant warriors, we need stability in these times of strife, we should ensure all... That all know the men of this conate are on top. Very good. Very nice. Agri organized agriculture. Awesome. And grab some seed selection because that'll help out with our recruitable population factor, which is more important than the actual monthly population that you get. Hmm. We're mobilizing a little bit too. But probably because we got more factory output. That's why. Probably. Not bad. Not bad for our first episode. We already took out someone and we have them pretty firmly under our control. Now, I don't know about the cons. I don't know if they'd actually go up into planes, but why not? As I learned when I played as a Death Claws in one of my campaigns. Even gliders, when in mast, or when mast, can take on nuclear jet fighters. If you have like a thousand, two thousand gliders versus a few hundred nuclear jet fighters, well, you can still lose when using nuclear jet fighters. So. Quantity is key. Let's go ahead and do this for another civilian factory. Uh, do we need any water? No, we're okay on water for now. Legion declare one of the hang dogs. Oh, well, that's not good. Send some manual prospectors. That'd be fine with me. Mm -hmm. Research speed. Medical tech. That might not be bad. Research speed wouldn't be bad either, but let's save our political power up, maybe? Um, we can't really do much with that stuff here, but we'll see what happens. Battle plans? Field fortifications. More defense and organization? Don't mind if we do. That'd be very, very good. We can only have one. Actually, we have one civilian factory being used. <sighs> Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, we got another division. That's why. All right, train if you need it. And reinforce the patriarchy. Love it. Still need more motorized, though. That looks really good. Over here. Yeah. I th I asked you guys whether we should use motorized or, not, motorized or not. We're probably going to use that. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Arms workshops. Let's get some warrior scholars. When we are not fighting, hunting, building, or maintaining our gear, we should not sit back and rest our laurels. Instead, we should study, ponder, and learn. Anything we can learn from this wasteland is useful. It may just save our lives one day. Good, 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 good. That's really cool. Yeah, we're going to make a lot of anti-tank and upgrade as best as we can. Just because I want to take the fight to the Legion. Not, well, okay, maybe we'll fight the Legion. But I'm at New Vegas. Because I do want to... Oh, they took out the Fiends, maybe? Huh. Okay, well, we gotta take out the Mojave chapter. I wanna proclaim the, the Mojave Nation. I've never seen that before. That sounds really, really fun. Oh, and you guys have six divisions. That's quite a few. Now, we'll probably end up being on defense for quite a bit here. Do they have any good resources? Uh, it's not... That's okay. Not really. The Sarles don't have very much to work with. And we're running out of manpower already. Oh, boy. That is not ideal. Mojave chapter joined the Mojave Alliance. Okay, cool. Good, good for you guys. Gliders, very awesome. Very, very, very awesome. Uh, doggos, yeah, it seems pretty appropriate that we should get some doggos. How about over here, though? Better res research speed resistors. Let's grab that, too. Uh, outsider battalions. Which, mm, I don't think it really makes sense for us to do that, but I kind of want to do that anyways. Tim's tanks, manufacturers, APCs, motorized. Oh, oh. Wait, more cell usage, but 25% more max speed. That's not bad. And once this is done, we can get some of that as well. 
Yeah. Bink, you okay? Oh, don't eat your own hair, Bink. Seed selection? Good, good. Uh, let's grab some more output. Local workspaces are a great thing, yeah. Being tribal is not necessarily easy. Let's grab some more guns. I love caps, but you know what I love? More population. Because, oh goodness gracious, it's not looking good right now. And less than 50 days, warrior scholars. Let's go ahead and go this way so we can get some able bodies. So, social Darwinism. Only the strongest survive in con culture, and, even, and through this whole, people have become strong. Yeah, we gonna need... <laughs> We gonna need a little bit more population where we're headed. Yeah, I might have to go up to outsider battalion just because this ain't looking good. Hmm. Scavengers okay, found something. Bones to naval technology. Wow. Uh, good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, that that really helps us out quite a bit. Totally, quite a bit. Ah, uh, love social Darwinism. Oh, is this? It's not enough man. We have enough manpower. Oh, we need more guns. That's why. I was. I'm wondering why we had a deficit. It's just because we took over other enemy lands. So be it. We got two, that's good enough for now. Do that three. Oh, New Reno joined the NCR. Oh, God, that's not good. Dam Busters. Oh, hold on. Who's joining who, what, where? So the Mojave Alliance. Dam Busters. The Chapter. Cool. And Able Bodies. Every con who is able bodied is a warrior. This may have a strain on our production as we have no real dedicated mechanics, but it means that every con can defend themselves and those around them. Good. And I want to end this episode with us going to war. Yeah, that would be good to get as well later on. We have enough supplies, but we will run out of things, run out of supplies soon enough, which is not ideal. And the amount of guns that we need every day is slowly, slowly decreasing, and we should have enough firearms now. Alright, so this is probably going to actually be a fairly difficult war, because that's a lot of divisions, but let's begin it and see what happens. And I knew they'd attack me, but we're going to end today's episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we watch that Arroyo and Klamath, uh, Arroyo and Nurino split up Klamath, making it look very ugly. But regardless, I hope you have a great, great rest of your day.